Hello, Jack Fleming here. I'm sharing with you today the inking process on this drive-in movie theater drawing that I'm working on. I also am going to talk to you a little bit about what it is that I plan on doing with this YouTube channel and why I started it. So here we go. All right, a little bit of background here on this. This drawing originally started as a Hot Rod Inktober piece. Um, if you're not familiar with Hot Rod Inktober, Hot Rod Inktober is a drawing challenge based off the Inktober drawing challenge. Um, Hot Rod Inktober was started by Johnny Jalopy. It's pretty much a group of automotive artists that get together and work from a list that's usually generated uh, by Johnny Jalopy or most of us have some input on it, it seems like. Uh, usually featuring cars and stuff that we all like. Uh, things that we kind of draw on our own anyways. Um, in this, typically the artists that work with the, the challenge, they draw one drawing every day based off of the list. Um, I've kind of taken that a different direction and use it more as inspiration for these illustrations. I did the first illustration like this three years ago. And this is actually the third one that I've done now. With the busy work schedule that I had this past October, I had to put this on back burner. And unfortunately it sat until this summer whenever I was able to finish doing the pencils on it. And here we are at the end of the summer now and finally getting around to finishing the inks. The plans for this one are to go ahead and color it, probably using watercolor. That will be the next video, so you know, like and subscribe and follow along so you don't miss that one. Uh, a little bit more information about what I'm doing with these and, and what I hope to do with them. Um, the Hot Rod Inktober Challenge was kind of what gave me the inspiration for it, and I've had plans for the past couple years and even started a few more of these drawings that have nothing to do with that, but they again are illustrations featuring a whole bunch of cars. That's really exciting to me. I love drawing in perspective. I love hot rods and I really like the idea of having one drawing that's just got so many little things going in it. You know there's different cars in there for everybody and sometimes there's little side gags and a uh, little bitty I guess what people would call Easter eggs and stuff, little hidden things in there. It makes it fun. I really do believe that drawing should be fun, um, not just for the person drawing it, but also for the person that's looking at it, and I guess that comes from growing up as a kid, enjoying reading comics and, you know, in the Sunday papers and even comic books, and grew up watching a whole lot of Looney Tunes and stuff as a kid. That idea leads me to telling you a little bit more about why it is that I started this YouTube channel here. I kind of want something to keep myself accountable so that I don't end up putting these on back burner again. I really want to do a whole bunch of them. I'd love to be able to knock out one at least every other month. Uh, there's a lot of hours involved in these and I think it's neat for those of you that are able to watch these videos to kind of see some of the work that's involved in it. Uh, the last two illustrations like this that I did Got a lot of interest out of them, a lot of people that really enjoy looking at them. And there's usually never enough time to really talk to them about the drawings themselves or what's going on. So that's really what I want this YouTube channel to be for. I want to continue doing these drawings. I'll probably throw some other work up as well, maybe some pinstriping stuff, uh, little sketch videos and stuff. Just things to let you guys see what it is that I'm working on and how I work probably talk about the work some but with these I'm hoping you know to end up putting them out there as prints eventually uh, if I could get you know one every other month done and continue working on them like that I should be able to get at least six a year you know who knows maybe in two years time I'd have enough that I can put out a calendar or something I'd love to make these into a format that's affordable for other people to have and enjoy and probably poster prints is, is what's going to end up going on with them. You've probably heard enough now to know what's going on with the YouTube channel and why it is that I started it. Um, at this point, kind of tell you a little bit more about this drawing, what kind of 
how I decided to really work on this one, what it was that I wanted to do with it. Um, you've probably noticed so far in it, we've got a whole group of different cars and stuff, all at a drive-in movie theater. Um, with the drawing challenge happening in October, usually one of the prompts that we get is to draw a monster movie car. Usually people draw like a monster driving a car or one that's based off of one, but I thought it'd be kind of neat to show a scene from one of my favorite monster movies. Really love old 50s monster movies, um, especially ones, you know, that have cars in them and stuff or giant creatures. This has got a scene in it, kind of close to the end, end scene for a uh, giant Gila monster. I've even got it on the little marquee there. If you notice in the background, Batman and Robin are in the Batmobile in front of the marquee. Uh, so in the movie, you know, there's a giant monster that keeps terrorizing all these local hot rodders and stuff and kids are coming up missing and in the end you've got the main character has his car that he ends up filling full of dynamite if I remember correctly and, and using it to blow up the heel monster but in this drawing you know all the little cars and stuff that were in the prompts that we had uh, show up and they're all here and some of the prompts aren't necessarily cars in the background there, you can see I'm inking right now. It's actually a little picture. I always like including one of Johnny Jalopy, uh, since he's the one who comes up with the list. Behind him, you'll see, as I continue to ink, there's a couple little posters on the wall. One of them is uh, one of the weirdo characters. Another one is the fly, the Von Dutch flying eye, and then I've got a little rat fink back there. There's even a little guy walking into the back of the old GM Future Liner there. Uh, wearing a t-shirt with a uh, Stanley Mouse character on the back of it. So there's all sorts of neat little things in here. Uh, some of the cars that you've probably seen on here already that I've inked, I mentioned the Batmobile right in front of it, uh, was the car from the movie Christine. We've got the old paddy wagon from the old model kits back there. One of our prompts was a stagecoach hot rod. I've got one of those with a couple of cowboys sitting there eating so or eating popcorn and drinking sodas. Uh, got the Herbie car. There's a surf hot rod. Um, there's a car that was built by Ian Russo, the spider car. I've got a old square body truck with a couple of people sitting in the back of it with their feet hanging out. It's Roth car in there. There's the little red wagon. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. That's one of my favorite uh, show cars, I guess you'd say. One of the stunt cars that would show up at drag strips uh you know the the cab over pickups with the big engine in the back do wheelies and stuff so a lot of different stuff in here uh see that i just did the flintstones mobile there you've got ed roth's little surfite behind that uh bunch of different neat little cars uh this one right here that's being inked is the copper cart uh if i remember correctly it's a barris car um, one of the things I also often do with these is include a little drawing of myself, usually in the background somewhere this time. I feel like the focal point of this drawing is in the background where the movie is, so. Here I put myself in the front where the attention's off of me a little bit more. There are quite a few more cars in this that we can talk about, and... Hopefully you'll stay tuned for the next video. I plan on doing color with that. Talk a little bit more about the cars, a little bit more about the inking process. And about color. See you then.